Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha, Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole fleet. Let Mr. Brother Izari with the Pittsburgh GMS camp coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha, Hakodash. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And I just want to do this lesson real quick, you know. You know any of you uh brothers and sisters that have been listening to this uh you know these lessons um of great millstone in particular okay you should already know by now that e e is on a uh you know a disinformation campaign for the truth all right he's against this truth okay which uh matter of fact i'm gonna get this okay i got a few precepts pulled up i just typed in the word deceit you come up with some different precepts, okay? That's a lot. Psalm 64 and 1 says, Hear my voice, O power, and my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That word wet means to sharpen their tongue like a sword and bend their bow to shoot their arrows even bitter words all right so they right now they have a slander campaign against the truth all right they have a slander campaign against the truth as it regards to the scriptures and as it regards to uh things that have been coming out okay uh on things that are not mainstream media okay exposing uh these different plots that they have laid out for the masses of the people and this is a perfect example right here now this is not necessarily their tongue but they've been taking actions and they're doing a video on it okay which you know they're speaking certain things and as you can see it says youtube has re removed 1 million videos about about uh vicky all right so the ceo says all right and uh you know i'm not gonna play it but basically they've taken down the you saw it a million videos you know and the scriptures talk about how you know e works off of deceit okay and part of his deception is being able to control the narrative all right he doesn't want you to uh know what the truth is all right but slowly the truth is being revealed okay and people are going to have to face the consequences of believing this devil okay jeremiah which these aren't really in any order because i was opening the tabs and they kind of got jumbled up all right jeremiah 9 okay now this talks about the daughter of the lord's people all right but the scriptures say in the new testament you are of your father the devil all right all right, so let's get this, Jeremiah 9 and 8. Their tongue is as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart he lieth wait. Shall not I visit them for these things, Savior? How shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Okay. Yeah, let's get this. The rock to lock it for smacking you know it's rock 12 all right and uh hey you know i want 16 you know but we read this a lot so rock 12 and 10 never trust thine enemy for like his iron rust is so of his wickedness all right though he humble himself and go crouching yet take good heed and beware of him and i shall be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether all right wiped away so like i'm moving the mic all right, and uh, let's get to the, you know, I'll keep reading. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. All right, don't let this nigga be your partner. All right, because you're going to remember that we warned you against being yoked up with this devil. Okay, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You're going to remember that hey, them, them prophets said don't be around these niggas. All right. And it's gonna be like, damn, I should have listened. It's gonna, it's gonna crush you inside to be like, damn, I should have listened to him. Verse thirteen: Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh will wild beasts? Hey man, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't shed no tear for Steve Irwin when he, when them things hit his ass up. You know, <laughs> you should have been playing with them niggas, man. Nigga, we hit him up. Nigga, hit him with the uh, with the spear. All right, now that's horrible. But there's no way you should not. You should you, look, bro. Who gonna pity you? You over there playing with the tiger? Look at the tiger. 
now you know, you know you know rest you know he's dead so it is what it is you know but i'm just saying man the scriptures tell you ain't nobody gonna pity you so one that go up to a sinner and is defiled with them in their sins who will pity look man we've been telling you we've been telling you what we've been telling you you know a lot of brothers have lost their channels you know what i'm saying and uh you know i've been trying to be uh wise as a serpent you know what i'm saying as far as reporting on certain things you know what i'm saying and i've gotten a few strikes so on and so forth but brothers have lost whole channels going into the, the exposing this devil all right and if you if you niggas ain't got it by now hey look <laughs> who gonna pity you for going and being defiled with e man okay nobody it says for a while he will abide with thee but if thou begin to fall he will not tarry man nigga man nigga hurry up quick man that nigga see you slipping man he finna come to finish you off an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth hath to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, he sh you shall, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Let's get that word undermine. Undermine. Okay to lessen the power the ability or gradually or insidiously okay to lessen the effectiveness power or ability of especially gradually or insidiously and this devil works gra by gradualism okay he's coming like yeah oh, oh you oh this is a this is this is we need to help the black and latino community and meanwhile he's subverting he's weakening he's compromising you He's impairing you. He's spoiling you. He's ruining you. He's damaging you, hurting you, crippling you. All right. He's enfeebling you, making you feeble. Okay. He's eating you away. He's eating away at you. You see, he's not. And look at the antonym. See, those are the things that are similar to the word. These are the opposite of the word to enhance, to improve, to strengthen. He's telling you that he's strengthening you, but really he's undermining your ass. He, 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 he though he pretend to help thee, Yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Man, this devil is not for you, man. The devil's not for you, man. Okay. So let's continue, man. He works in deceit, man. Okay. And this there's a precept that ties in with this too, to show you that he does the same thing, which I believe I read it already in Psalms uh, 64. Okay, they wet their tongue, they, they uh, bend their bow to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Page Jeremiah 9 and, and us 8 again, their tongue is as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart he lay, layeth his weight. All right. Uh, 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 let's see. Which I think I have this pulled pulled up. Honestly, I'm probably skipping ahead. It kind of got jumbled up, so I'm just pulling it up through the spirit. Psalms 55 and 21 says the words of his mouth. Matter of fact, let me make sure. Psalms 55. When he had put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. This is speaking about this devil, Esau, Eden, so-called white man. He had broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. You see? So that's this devil, man. You know, he's speaking sweetly and all that. But in his heart, he lay of his weight. All right, so we'll move past that. You know, Salaki for repeating it, but I had to drive that home with them precepts, man. Joel 15 and 35 says what? Uh, 30, 34, for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and a fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. And that's what this country is all about. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity. Okay, their belly prepare for deceit. Okay, and that's this devil, man. You know, and all of you that follow after the devil. Psalms 10, okay. Mm. And one, why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken into the vices that they have imagined, okay? 
for the wicked motive of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous whom the most high abhorreth okay and this this devil does boast of his desire you hear it in these different speeches the new world order and these different things that they mention okay even trump was talking about the new world order he's plugged in and these, these niggas and these these uh edomites can't see it the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high the most high is not in all his thoughts his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight as for all his enemies he puffeth at them he have said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. Okay, the ember thought is that their houses shall continue forever, right? Verse 7 says, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Okay, and that's what you have with these devils. You know, they'll, they'll say there's misinformation. And we got to remove this stuff and we got to take it off the Internet. But really, they're the ones that's pushing the bullshit. Psalms 50. Okay. And uh, 16 says, but unto the wicked, the most high saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? You know, which kind of ties into that article I brought out in the lesson the other day of um, that governor of New York. So like, yeah, I got that rain playing in the background. I just remember, I just realized that uh, hopefully you can't hear it. But um, uh, yeah, where well, she was like, I want you to be my apostles of this thing. And I want you to push it and tell everybody if they love their neighbor, they better take it. What you got to do to take the to take the to declare the statutes? He gonna say what God want, what the Most High want. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Verse seventeen. Seeing that thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue framest deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thy slanders thine own mother's son. All right. And a lot of y'all, you know, are familiar with these precepts already. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. All right. So that's what's going to happen to these these Edomites, man. Okay. The Most High is going to reprove them, and we're being set in order before their eyes, as we you know, as as we speak. All right. Proverbs twelve and uh, five says, "The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit." Okay. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. Mm. You see? That's right. Okay. The wicked are overthrown and are not. That means they're destroyed. They, they, they don't, they're gone. But the house of the righteous shall stand. Okay. You see? So yeah, man, these devils, man, <laughs> these devils, man. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood. Yep, that's why they set up these words, man. They're seeking to kill people, man. The scriptures say the devil will come down unto you having great wrath for you. know you have but a sh but a short time, man. And this devil is lying and he's he's lining his words up. He's he's, he's making his speech ready, okay, to deceive people into thinking that he has the answer, okay, so he can kill people. That's all it is. Proverbs twelve and twenty says, "Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil." But to the counselors of peace is joy, right? See? So deceit is to the heart of them that imagine evil. Let me make sure this is actually uh recording. Yeah, we're good. All right. All right. So that's these devils, man. You know, uh, what does it say? Uh the heart is D. Uh, shit. Yeah, Psalm 64, and I didn't even get to it in 6. But I already got 64 open right here. Psalm 64 and uh, 5, I'll start it. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? And this devil got a lot of stuff out there, a lot of uh, misinformation. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, contingency plans, okay? Contingency A contingency is a provision for an unforeseen event or circumstances, uh, the absence of a necessity, blah, 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 to be false. So basically, uh, yeah, a future event or circumstance which is possible but cannot be predicted with certainty. Okay. So what they basically do is they set up situations and set up things to block 
this fe this uh, foreseeable future event because they can't predict when they don't know exactly when somebody's going to put out a video, you know, uh, exposing their wickedness. So what they do is they set up a contingency plan. All right. They say, well, look, we can't, uh, we can't uh, t look plan planning pre-arrangement arrangements. We'll just create an algorithm so that whenever you say a certain thing, it'll automatically take down the thing for you for us. That's why you know there's that million. What they say, at least a million videos have been taken down, right? Because they have an algorithm, they have a contingency in place to stop what they're calling misinformation. And it's to the point where you don't know what you, we don't know what words are on the algorithm. You know, it's really you really don't know what you could say. That could trigger it, all right. I just got a few more here. Proverbs 26 and 24 says, He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. Let's get this word dissembleth, okay? Because when you disassemble, it's like you're breaking something down. So I'm gonna just get it in the regular, you know, quick way. And if that don't work, I'm gonna get it in a blue letter. Dissemble. Okay, this symbol. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go here. What is that? Proverbs 26 and 24. This is quick too. Proverbs 26 and then go to 24. Okay, and that is uh man. Oh yeah. The car. The car. Okay. Distinguish. To disguise oneself. Scrutinize. To dissimulate. Dissimulate. To dissemble. Okay. To be shrewd or cunning. I show all. Perfect to regard, to recognize, to be willing to be acquainted, to distinguish, to misconstrue, to misconstrue with his lips, a hater disguise of himself, dissembles and speaks what is foreign to his thought. Damn. He speaks what is foreign to his thought. Mm. So basically, okay, let's go back. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. So he's saying one thing, okay? But really, he means another, okay? And you know, you brothers might already, went, you know, went through this, but I just thought that was beautiful through the spirit that that came out, okay? With his, Proverbs 26 and 24, that's what we're reading. It says, with his lips, a hater disguises himself or dissembles, and he speaks what is foreign to his thought. All right, so he's, he's, he's telling you one thing, but really he's thinking how to throw your ass in a ditch. All tying in, okay? Joe 13 and 4, I forgot to read this. It says, but ye are forges of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value, all right? And uh, kind of read all that. So, yeah, he did, I'm going to continue. He did hate of dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. That's right, man. And that's what's coming for this devil. So I just want to go into that real quick. You know, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. You know, this devil's full of crap, man. You know, he, 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 look, it's going to be a, such a deception that if it were possible, they could deceive the very elect, but they would not deceive the very elect. So let's stay you know, let's give all diligence to make our calling and election sure. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rachar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wa'abababa, Shalom.